Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Petra and this is your Health Tip Tuesday. So this week we're gonna talk about apple cider vinegar. This stuff right here, which is pretty amazing stuff and I've actually started to use it a lot more lately. So I'm gonna tell you guys three things that you can do with it even though there are a bazillion things that you can do with it the first thing i'm going to tell you about it actually is that you need to get if you're going to use it you want to get the organic raw unfiltered apple cider vinegar with the mother which just means that it has been fermented in a way that has kept all of those wonderful vitamins and nutrients in it. A lot of the things in it are magnesium, potassium, calcium, iron. The uses for it are just really beneficial. The first thing that you can do with it is actually use it for eczema, which that's what I've been using it mostly for lately because I've been breaking out with some dry patches around on my eyes and my nose and my face a little bit in different areas. So uh, it's kind of frustrating because I think that it could be from maybe the makeup videos and using more products on my face and then also dairy I usually when I eat too much dairy I tend to get a little more skin irritations and I'm thinking that could be the culprit too so a good way to neutralize your body is using apple cider vinegar so the way that you can use it is by diluting about three cups to a quarter cup for sensitive skin you do not want to just go in with apple cider vinegar straight on your face i tried that and that was a mistake and i won't do that again because it's stingy it's definitely i mean you can deal but it's definitely stingy and it's pretty drying so definitely dilute it with water then what helps in the apple cider vinegar is the potassium because it kind of acts as an astringent on your skin and it balances the ph level you can dilute it and put it on a spray bottle spray your face kind of like a toner or you can spray it onto a cotton pad and just dab on the certain areas and you'll want to make sure that you moisturize your face after you use it so because uh, apple cider vinegar it's just really drying so you want to make sure that you moisturize afterwards you can also actually drink the apple cider vinegar which will help the anti-inflammatory issues in your body because we all work from the inside out if things aren't going well on the inside they're probably gonna start showing these symptoms on the outside so my skin rash thing I've got going on is a symptom of something going on inside of my body so I tend to drink it too at night. You can drink it in the morning or at night and that really helps because it helps um, strengthen your immune system and it is very alkaline which keeps your body in a better balance. The second thing you can do, I'm going to actually show you how you can use it as a drink. So I just have a glass here and I'm just going to pour in about a cup. You can measure a cup if you'd like but I just pour in about eight ounces maybe a little more and then I will shake up the apple cider vinegar and then I'll take a tablespoon of that and you may want to adjust to how much you drink if you're not used to apple cider vinegar and the taste then you may want to put different things in your drink which I'll show you in a second and then just pour it in and I tend to just stir mine up and drink mine this way. You'll want to use either a straw to drink it with or you can just drink it and then you'll want to rinse your teeth because if you're concerned about your tooth enamel, which most of you should be concerned about your tooth enamel too, that's the one thing is that it will start to eat away at it so you'll want to definitely rinse with um, water or I think most people like to drink with a straw. So a couple of things, if you're not used to the flavor of just this, then you can add in a little bit of honey here, uh, maybe like a little, like a teaspoon of honey and then some cinnamon. And that actually helps the flavor of it a lot. And then you could, instead of adding in a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, you could add in like half a tablespoon or maybe a teaspoon if you want, just so you get used to it. So anyways, that's the drink. Mm, I like it. I think it's really quenching. The benefits of drinking this in the morning is you have a really good digestion 
like it'll help kickstart your digestion in the morning and it is really helpful with your gut flora it really strengthens that gut flora and with all the vitamins and nutrients that ACV has in it it helps improve your immune system and it helps really flush out all these toxins things that cause like cancer and disease and we don't want any of that so I don't know if you just have to drink a little bit of that every day I say why not so the third thing that you can do and I actually have done this for quite some time is using regular vinegar as a household cleaner and vegetable wash but well I used to buy my vegetable wash now but no more so now I've switched over to using just apple cider vinegar and I'll put it in a straight spray bottle that's what this is and you can spray your countertops you can spray your windows and the cool thing about spraying your windows is vinegar is streak free it's really weird how it's streak free I don't know why but it is and so you don't have to use that Windex that you know I've used before it's great but you know it's not natural so it's kind of nice to use something that is a little healthier for you to be using and then the other thing is I use it on my fruits and vegetables so I will just spray my whoops not literally right now I will spray my fruits and my vegetables and I'll just give them a good little scrub and then I'll rinse them with water and you should be rinsing your fruits and veggies no matter what even if you're not using apple cider vinegar I like using this as a little bit extra boost of a cleanser because it has a lot of antibacterial properties in it so that is it you guys those are the three things there are a ton more things like I said that you can use I mean you can use it as a deodorant you can use it to soothe sunburns um, people use it to help clear their sinuses the list just goes on and on if you look it up you will find a lot more uses for it I just wanted to focus on three this time so I hope you guys have enjoyed learning a little bit about ACV apple cider vinegar and want to maybe incorporate one or two things into your daily living for a little bit healthier of living so with that that is all i hope to see you guys again next week for another health tip tuesday i'll see you guys soon bye i'll spray my vegetables and my fruits well this is a fruit and